Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. Monster Hunter has been really light on news of late and I know we're all getting kind of anxious waiting for some Iceborne news to come out because they did promise it in the spring. But look on the bright side, this has given us the opportunity to discuss and debate things that really matter, such as which of the flagship monsters snores the best. First up on our list is the flagship for Monster Hunter the original, which is Rathalos. I don't know what to tell you, it's pretty weak. Um, I didn't use the one for Monster Hunter World because most of the flagships are in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, so I'm sticking with that game as the base to keep this nice and fair. But come on, Rathalos, I thought you would snore a little bit better. Maybe it's because he's a light sleeper because he has to be on alert, I don't know. Just for kicks, let's see what Rathian sounds like. So that sounded better to me. I think it's because she's the mother and I think that she works a little bit harder than Rathalos does, who just, come on face it, just flies around in the sky all day. Next up is the flagship for Monster Hunter Dose, which is Kushara Daora. That's actually a pretty good snore. It kind of sounds like an old man wheezing through the night. Next up is the flagship monster for Monster Hunter Portable 2nd, which is Tigrex. <laughs> you know, it's this snore that actually prompted me to do this video from someone who tweeted me a video of him snoring. 10 out of 10, that's awesome. Next up is the flagship monster for Monster Hunter Portable 2nd G, or as you guys know it, Freedom Unite, which is Narga Kuga. Overall, not bad. Definitely not as personal as Tigrax, but I did like the touch of the tongue hanging out of the mouth, so 4 out of 5. Next up is the flagship of Monster Hunter Tri, which is Lagiacris. Or Lagiacris, I don't know how to say it. Zero out of five by default for sounding like my mother and how she snores, but I guess because it has those huge lungs for throwing out lightning that it would have such a breathy snore. Next up is the flagship for Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, which never came to the West, unfortunately. Awesome game, though. Uh, let's see if the best boy, Zinogre, sounds and snores like a best boy in real life. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 3 out of 5. I would have loved to hear a little bit of a howl or a hiss in there, but you can't ask for everything, right? Next up is the flagship for Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, or 3G, which is Brachydeus. I guess it's not so bad. It's a little raspy, but being a boxer and a fighter, I was kind of hoping that this monster would have a more powerful snore. Next up is the flagship for Monster Hunter 4, which is Gormagala. You'll have to ignore that hissing sound, that was a blight that I had from him, thanks Gore. Uh, honestly, it's kind of a weak snore, but I did like the fact that it looked like it was having a nightmare and it twitches in its sleep. Sort of fits that whole kind of theme of that monster, don't you think? Next up is the flagship monster for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, or 4G, which is Seregios. I do admit I like how they got that nasal quality, especially because it's got that long sort of like nose and horn that's going up from it. I imagine that affects its breathing and how it sounds. Next up is one of the flagships for Monster Hunter Generations with this Gameth. Wow. 
As if Gameth wasn't already unpopular enough, that snore is not doing it any favor. With a huge body, I was expecting kind of a mammoth-sized snore, but what we got was a little breath. You can beat up Rathalos, and he's not a very good snorer, so let's see how Astalos does. Not bad, I definitely like that sound that we're hearing. It's awful unique, that sort of wind tunnel pipe sort of sound that's coming out of its nose horn. Uh, definitely unique, so I'll give it three out of five stars for that. Next up for Monster Hunter Generations is Glavinus. Uh, zero out of five, did it like forget to implement a snore? It's like some light breathing and that's it. It's actually drowned out by the sound of the volcano. It's that unnoticeable. And finally, the best flagship for Monster Hunter Generations, purely subjective, uh, Mizutsune. Five out of five, we may as well just call the video now. I actually asked Yuna and she said this is how I snore sometimes, which is kind of concerning. Uh, so I'll definitely try to work on that, but Awesome, distinctive, loud, powerful, Mizutsune, you got it. And next up is the flagship for Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate with its Valstrax. It almost sounds a little bit like a cat, um, so not a bad snore, but I was hoping for something a little bit more, I don't know, menacing from this crazy monster which zips through the sky. Then last but not least is Nergigante, which is the flagship for Monster Hunter World. This isn't really fair because they did overhaul the sound design in the latest game, so obviously the sound's going to be a lot better, but nothing beats the way that he falls asleep. It's like Monday morning Nerg. Sorry, got to see that again. <laughs> Monster Hunter ASMR. <laughs> I love the snore. They obviously put a lot of work and attention into this. Uh, so definitely one of my favorites. I got to say overall, I'm going to give my favorite one to Tigrex because of its funny little sounds. Uh. But Nergigante definitely comes in second for me. Let me know down in the comments which of the flagships has the best snore in your opinion and why. I know these are really tough and important questions to be asking the community right now, but we got the opportunity to do it, so let's go for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy snoring.